Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna, and tonight I want to share a haul with you. Most of these are my mail orders um, that came in. I think they all are. So I want to share with you what I got really quickly or as quickly as I possibly can. The first thing I want to share with you is this was sent to me by someone who wishes to remain anonymous. And I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. They knew my curiosity on this butter because a lot of you have a Trader's Joe and we don't have one here. And I think the hype behind this is that it smells similar to the Sol de Janeiro body butter, the Bum Bum Cream. And I have that cream and this does smell very similar. I can't wait to use this. I opened it up this morning and sniffed it and then I put it back because as you can see, I just took some of the wrap off. But I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. They're going to be hearing from me. It was supposed to be Monday because I have something that I think that they might like. And y'all know I like to pay kindness forward. But it's going to be Tuesday. I told them they would hear from me Monday. So if you happen to see this, I'm so sorry. It'll be Tuesday because I forgot that they're having me to work Monday. And y'all know I do anywhere from 12 to 16 hour shifts. Um, I normally work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But they did ask me to pick up Monday. So you're going to hear from me Tuesday morning. Um, I have some things that I need to get taken care of and I will be coming into something I think they will like. So they sent me this and they sent me these two pocket bags here, blackberries and basil. And of course, wicked apple. These two are very loved. So the next thing that I got here, and I'll probably show this part last. This is a box of nail polish from HB. Is it HB Beauty Bar? I don't know if I ordered 12 or what I did, guys. I just sort of ordered every single thing that I liked. So we will get to that because I will most definitely have to unwrap that. So I'm trying to see. Let me make a little bit of room on this counter and we'll share everything else. So one of the first things that I got was these Lena plates, which I had been wanting for the pumpkin image. And y'all know that I said I had this one right here that I never realized that I actually had. So we'll sit that there and we're going to show you these plates here. So these plates here have the overwrap on them and it's clear. Some of these had two and this is just the protective film. And as you can see, this one has acorns and leaves and there's so much you can do with these apples. And this was the pumpkin image that I wanted. And I do like it a lot better. And when you get on the Lena Nail site, it will show you, you know, looks that are done. And I saw a look with this maybe a year or two ago. So I had been after this plate, but it stayed sold out. And this one is called Lena, um, I believe it is Seasons. Four, it's the fourth plate in Seasons and it's Autumn. But those leaves and everything, there's just so much you can do with those. So I really did love this plate for that reason. The next one that I got, and I don't remember what I got this plate for, but I'm pretty sure it was something on it that caught my eye or some look. Now... I like looks like this because say that I do a rainbow, like a foil rainbow swash over my nail and then I stamp this in black or whatever color, you're going to get the colors under there. We have a little bit of hound's tooth there. These roses are nice. I do have other plates with similar roses, but I love doing these looks in purple, green, or blue. Here is another one. You will get your polish color in this solid part and then whatever your peekaboo, like it's a peek through, is that. And let's see what this one was called. This one was called Dress Your Nails 03. And I really did favor this image here. And these right here, because you can stamp these types of images and stamp something on top of them. And then the little plaid one here. So the last and final plate I got was another one of the Swirls and Twirls plate. And I like this. Um, for this writing, I do have writing um, on other plates, but this right here gives you that beautiful like wallpaper look. You can do different things with those lines. And I love this right here because y'all know how I used to do the sponge and I would put colors on my nails, you know, to lift it a little. Let's say I did a Tiffany blue aqua color and I wanted to do some orange and pink and purple. Now all I have to do is put my stamping polish across here and pick it up like that. I don't have to do anything at all special with the sponge. And you can get very imaginative with these plates. This is like that stone look if you want to do the gold veining or the silver veining or just whatever you do. This right here, these are solid. And these were images I used to have trouble with. But you can take this and put like layer something on top of it. Like even this can go on top of there. And this one is the Bliss Kiss. And it's a collab plate, but I don't know who they collabed with. 
But as you can see, my hands do look awful, but I can make them look better with these plates. And I just love nail stamping as a whole. So I was happy to have those plates. And the biggest thing I have, guys, that I want to go ahead and get out of the way, I'm going to pause for a minute and share with you. So what I want to share next is my syrups. The only thing I don't like about Monin is that these are glass bottles. Um, the Pure Made that I get from Tarani is plastic, but I could not pass up these flavors. So I got the white chocolate one because I've been wanting to do white chocolate frappuccinos and white chocolate mochas. Y'all know I got the white chocolate creamer. I have the white chocolate um, sauce, which I'm going to have to get some more. So I couldn't pass this one up. I'm also interested in the coffee syrup and espresso syrup. I wanted to go ahead and try the Monin Pure Cane Syrup because you know I've been favoring the Tarani one. And then I had to try pistachio because we've had pistachio lattes and then I saw Maison Molly do one as well. And then the French vanilla is on Mrs. Alex's recommendation. And of course I wanted toasted marshmallow. This was another one that I had been eyeing and wanting. So I'm going to put these to good use. Also, my correct stamping polish came in from um, Maniology, the Caramel B353. This is the one I was supposed to have had instead of the um, purple one. This comes in handy for map nails as well as coffee nails and just whatever kind of nude manicure you want. These can be used as stamping polishes and nail polish. And again, I'll show that to you. And... And if y'all remember when I said that I wanted to get that Jergen soap and I was going to go to the dollar store, apparently I ordered it, but they didn't, because they didn't send my order, I thought I just got the three things, but apparently I got four. This came and I saw the notification that it was coming later, but I didn't see it till I looked and saw that I had ordered this with those other three things with the um, cloud lotion and the tropic lotion. So this came. So I don't have to, I really would have rather had paid a dollar. I think I might have paid three or four dollars for this on, um, was it Amazon? Where did I order this from? I think I got it from Walmart online, but it did come in an Amazon bag here. And guys, I got more Victoria's Secret. Now this mist, if this is the mist, I'm going to return it because they sent me another, if you can see it through there. Um, bombshell mist and I already have that so she said I could just go ahead and return that for credit even though they sent me one and then I did get the correct lotion and then I think that second avocado butter that they sent me I'm going to return that as well so I'm not going to open this but I will open up this lotion for you because I'm going to be keeping this and this was my missing item now, if you recall in the beginning, I wanted the full set of this and I wanted the full set of the green tea and I ended up liking the green tea more. So I decided to get all four pieces in the green tea and just get the lotion in this. And I have the mist to this and the lotion and that's all that I need. I won't get anything else in that line unless it goes on a serious sale. But I do really love the green tea one more. So I do believe the last thing I have, guys, is this box of polish. I have taken everything out, and I think what I ordered, and I apologize, I do not know the name of the China Glaze Fall line. I completely forgot, and I can't look it up because, of course, I record on my phone. But I got a few pieces from the Downtown LA collection. Two of these polishes in particular I know is from there, and the rest should be as well. And then I do believe I got all six of the fall China Glaze colors. So we'll go ahead and share these. This one was a lone one, and it was from a whole nother collection. And this one is behind the scenes. I got this yellow because y'all know I have that bumblebee honey plate, and I want to do a bumblebee nail look. I also have a Zoya shade I would like to use. So from the downtown LA collection... I can get my phone to focus. We got my studios on spring. Now I was trying to see the indicator that this was from that collection because I do wish they would do indicators that things are actually from a collection so that you know. This is Espresso, Your Inner Self. And I'm going to be really excited to use these shades this fall. 
The next one I got that I do believe is a popular one or is going to be from the photos that I saw was Abstract After Dark. Now, this is the one I like, and the person that alerted me to these polishes liked this next one, which was supposed to be their holographic one, and this one is Angel's Flight starry nights and it is very pretty now i haven't tried any of these on because of course i'm working and my hands look pretty bad here but i'm going to be trying these for sure i don't know if this will be close to two night by china glaze if y'all remember that one and the last one i have from that particular collection here if i can get it to focus is grand avenue and this looks and appears to be a very very dark navy blue it's showing up lighter in my camera but it's a very, very dark. It's almost like the Russian Navy without the glitter. And I would love to have another bottle of that. Now, from the China Glaze collection, we got Autumn's Up. And I love these mustard yellow colors. There's so much I can try to do with these with some of these plates. And I hope that that's focusing in for you enough. The next one that we have, and I love these sweet potato pumpkin-y shades. And this is Spice to Meet You. It's almost like my... Um, What's that one? Oh, something Piazza. I don't know. Whatever is the one, I'm going to have to find it because it really does look a lot like it. But I do love the China Glaze formula. And again, this is Spice to Meet You. So then we also have a nude here. And this one is The Snuggle is Real. I just love the photos of these. And then this one is Loves You a Latte. This is almost like the downtown brown one that I had years ago. And this one right here is almost like the Argon that I had. This one is Love em and Leaves em. So these are beautiful, nice fall colors. And the very last one that I have here is Modern Auburn. So I'm going to really like that one. I'm going to see if I can find the one that's similar to this one for you. Okay, so I found it, and it is an OPI one. Let's see what the name of it is here. My Italian is a little rusty, so I was way off. But if you'll see, there's just a hair's difference between these two. Because in person, they look very similar, but on camera, this one looks a little bit lighter than this one. But they're very rich in the shade, and I like to call these gooey sweet potato-y pumpkin-y type colors. You know how sweet potato is that orange caramelized look? I love colors like this for the fall. Um, what was one of the ones that was real popular? I don't even remember, guys, because I started getting into nail polish about 2009, and there were what was considered cult classic colors. Um, and there was one that I used to hear someone that did nail polish talk about all the time. She later became an attorney. But that is all that I got, guys. But I forgot to show you something. I was going to show y'all my comparison between these. Like, you see, this is my nice new one look at this i bought this is the one from the original line and you see this right here now y'all know i'm hard-headed now i don't put this on my skin per se but i do take some of this and break it down in hot water and shake it up like i'll squeeze the whole tube out because this is half full and then i will put it in or put some boiling water in here and i have to put it in a container that can withstand that and y'all have heard me say i pour this in my bubble bath water now not the whole thing I squeeze some out, maybe like a couple of tablespoons, three tablespoons, in some hot water, and then I pour it off into my bubble bath. You don't want to put it in your regular bath water because it curdles and it looks funny, but I mean, it hasn't hurt my skin. It's just not in a state that I can wear it as a lotion because it has that buttermilk undertone. Now, if it burned my skin or anything like that, I wouldn't wear it, but I can still use this and I hate to throw it away, but do y'all see the difference between the two? is i had to get a new one because i really do like this but i do have another tube of this around here somewhere and because of whatever's in these that makes them turn that's why i'm really anxious to find my boardwalk uh, marshmallow clouds lotion before it gets too dark it's still good when i last put it up it wasn't discolored but i promised to share one of those with somebody when i find it and i'm searching frantically i don't know what box i put it in but I need to find it. But guys, that's it, because I'm bordering on rambling. That's the end of my haul. I just wanted to share with you what all I had come. And until the next time, I wish everyone a great day. I'm two days down, two to go, and I'm feeling it. Good night.